back everyone, I'm Stephen Harrell, Tiny House Listings, and today I thought I would share a quick project with you that my father and I recently completed. Kind of interesting the way it all went down. Uh, but I'm actually standing in front of the old shed that we built. This was back in 2017. And I'll actually link it to you right there so if you want to see the whole project. But the reason we built this, one of the reasons was for storage and to hold the solar batteries that uh, will store all of the energy for my father's tiny house here. And um, the panels that we did were four 150 watt panels, which are 600 watts. And those panels were gonna collect all the solar energy needed for running this tiny house completely off the grid. This is where the four 150 watt solar panels were and we removed them. And you can see there's some holes in the roof still and that's where the solar panels were mounted. So we'll have to take some silicone and stick in there to prevent water from going through and rotting the roof. Someone asked me why I have a cow on display. Uh, the funny story behind that is we live way out here in the country and there's some many miles of dirt roads down the, uh, just down the road here. And um, we noticed that someone had, do had dropped a dead cow off <laughs> and it sat there for maybe a year. And uh, I was driving past one day and noticed that the skull was there and I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, who knows why they dropped the cow off, but anyways, I decided to just put it on display. The original intent was to chop down a lot of these trees. The, f the shed that we built is obviously south facing and a lot of these trees were going to have to go because they're obviously preventing sun from coming through. And we did chop down a few, but it's just too much. We want to keep that wooded fill, and, uh, which is why we moved the solar array over to a pasture about say 50 yards away. We were actually able to f get in contact with the landowner next door and asked her permission if we could put the solar array up and she was really, really gracious and like very, very keen to have those on her property because she just thought the whole concept was cool. She didn't know a lot about it, um, but she's like, absolutely. So that was really cool. And this is a solar array. It was built completely from scraps. Uh, all the two by fours were left over from projects we had before. The six by six was from a house that was being built kind of close to me. Um, and the reason I did this video, the do-it-yourself do um, do solar array, is because if you go online and look, a lot of these solar arrays that are built from metal and things like that um, are expensive. Hundreds if not thousands of dollars. And truth be told, my father and I, we built this, I'd say, the whole project in two or three hours. But the entire concept's really, really simple. You just frame out two by fours or two by sixes or whatever you need and slap some solar panels on there. Now the angle that you put a solar array is gonna be determined on your latitude. There's formulas online and I cannot remember the formula that we did. You just plug in your latitude where you are and then do the math and it'll tell you the angle that you want to put this, the optimal angle. Took all the connections, put them in a PVC pipe just in case the grass is ever cut here or anything like that. And then we just buried them buried the cable and it goes back out to the shed that you saw earlier in the video. One question I get very, very often is, what is my favorite company to get solar panels from? And these are actually from a company called Renogy, R-E-N-O-G-Y, very really good company. I don't really have any affiliation with them, um, but I like their panels, they're lightweight, uh, they're durable, and they're just solid. So if you ever find that you need a solar array, something similar to this, you can go out and build one for yourself. You don't need to buy a kit. You can even use scraps. I would recommend pressure treated like all these are for longevity. Um, but yeah, this super simple project and um, you can do it yourself very easy. Just do the measurements and go from there. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next video.